on this one you have first of all you have to select the machine that you want to actually mark in and mark out on um, sometimes you, to, to make sure it is selected you have to press all stop before doing it um, like now if I want to go to the recorder I have to press all stop press the recorder and, and it, there it is then I, I, I'd find where I'd want to do the edit I mean basically like like most of the edit controls I've come across what it normally does on the on the recorder when you do an edit it says the out that you set on the recorder will more than likely be the in you next want to use because i.e. you're going to start assembling shot one then shot two so you don't normally have to set the recorder in but in this particular case we've laid down a long piece of sort of talking head and we are actually wanting to come in where we want to come in to paste shots over him so um so then basically so you can either just leave the recorder or you go and find and you mark in and then on the player you select your player um, press all stop again with this particular controller so you actually can see player uh, and again you find where you'd like the That's shot nice. to start press mark in move on to where you'd like either on the recorder or the player depending on which is the dominant the dominance here is it what the guy says or is it what's happening in the the shot on the player you press the mark out accordingly um, and of course, if you there is the option on this as there was on earlier to do a mark split edit, which <clears throat> <laughs> anyway. So let's carry on shuttling through this. I'm not sure whether. Oh, he's quite fun, isn't he? Yeah. All the Ellies. What's your fancy? Right? I quite like the Ellies, but they're not very nice shots, are they? He's nice. That's lovely. That's nice. Preview it. In the near shot, I cannot trade them legally, and therefore it is prohibited to bring them back to the UK. Why spoil your vacation by buying such products? The only way of knowing is contacting the authorities or contacting traffic to find out what is legal what can be bought and so on. That's quite fun, actually. <laughs> it is. Well, I think what we do, we would, we, in reality, we'd probably um, cut more to, yes. to his voice and yes. find shots that we could and we would have to slow. Because what, sadly, we're using here is existing pre-edited material. So, of course, it's got its own finite lengths, whereas not if you had rushes, you'd probably have a much greater length of original shots to play with. So we're being slightly constrained yes. here, as I say, the, the, the solution would normally be, come on, let's, let's do a, a motion effect and slow it down. Um, but for the purposes of just demonstrating the, yes, the exactly. equipment and so on, it's enough, I think. Um, also, in an ideal world, we'd have everything logged and we'd know exactly which what bits we wanted to use and where, what the audio bed was going to be and all those sorts of things. It would all be much more accurately sorted out. As it is, we're sort of a bit blind leading the blind with the footage. So anyway, um, but I, we're getting there. I'll, I'll, I'll commit that and then we've got, depending Lovely. on the time, we'd say no, we should really give up. Yes, or we can go and maybe try and tidy it up a bit. And not trade them legally and therefore it is prohibited to bring them back to the UK. Why spoil your vacation by buying such products? The only way of knowing is contacting the authorities or contacting traffic to find out what is legal, what can be bought, and so on. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's great, simple word to say, but no, it is very interesting. I, I, I think the saddest thing with, with the complexity of, of, of this 900, 910 type controller, um, is that it, it's been much more difficult to remember than on the other one exactly what functions because you, you you've, you've noticed i've had trouble saying now i'd like to clear the time code out of there so i can and i can't and there is a clear button and i've tried various options of shifting that clear button etc but it's had no no effect now i know that i can do that i know that with this i can do virtually anything i want um, but its user friendliness on what it says on its buttons is not the most ideal. It's, um, it's a very, very, very powerful machine. But of course, <laughs> when you have been away from it for years, it's been, I mean, obviously I could get straight at it and do editing. That was no problem. 
and as I say, there's obviously a little bit of sticky button going on, but even then I could overcome that, um, like with that being able to turn off the A1, etc. pretty many times, and suddenly, oh, it did it. Um, but no, I'm impressed, great. actually, that he could remember to do it just like that. Yeah. It's, no, it's... Well done. It's fascinating. It's quite fun. It's good. It's really, I think it's great to come yeah. back and see that, A, that somebody has preserved all this equipment, and B, that there are, some of us are still preserved yes. enough to be able to do a bit with it. I think, I think the honest reality is if you, you give me a bit more time and just leave me to it, and I, I, I get the beast under a bit more control. I and, think you really quite enjoy, enjoy it, really. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, no. Yeah. So I, I, like, well, I like the challenge. Doesn't one, but uh, no, it, it, it's certainly just being dropped onto it. It's... I think it was difficult to go as far as I would like to go, like doing motion effects, etc., and being able to control my ins and outs more than, than it's letting me do. And I'm having to do it by the old fashioned method of mm. doing a bit of maths in my head, and I want to take off minus three seconds. <laughs> and it works, but there we go. Got there in the end. Mm -hmm. We got somewhere in the end.